give them a hand as they come past, ladies and gentlemen. And just leading the parade in the 2023 Ford Funnel Beach is uh, one of the stalwarts of the uh, Toronto Museum, Hugh Ross. And this is the first vehicle that rides in the car. I don't know about this one in, but uh, I saw this coming over from Waiuki this morning. I was following it. He went past me at about 95 k's. Just under 100. We're, we're watching you. And my, dog, my wife's dream car, Ian, she always wanted me to buy her a Mustang. I haven't done that yet, but uh, the day might come. Let's hope you don't wait too long, uh, Bill. Now one would assume that this car coming past in the um, metallic red is a Jaguar. Now this is all a good selection of American cars, Chrysler, not a Jaguar, and of course the uh, police Chicago emblem on the side of the uh, Ford car here. And good selection of all of these old Ford machines. And across the channel we go, of course, to uh, the British contingent now. Land Rover first, of course, the big mainstay for the four-wheel drive. And the Morris Oxford. I'm not too sure of this next one uh, here. It might be a Riley. No. no. <laughs> Austin Healy? Austin Healy. No. no. <laughs> well, it's a very nice colour anyway. And the last in that British contingent there, of course, the uh, um, Mini Cooper. And then back across the channel again to the American contingent. Often the number plates will tell you the year. Now as the uh, farm machinery comes along, Ian will be giving a little bit of a, a commentary here. But happy to see the person that cuts my hay is leading, leading the agricultural contingent. The, the international coupe ute, the AR110, is a 1951 model and that has a very interesting history. Um, Peter, Peter bought it in Blenheim. It was originally based in Christchurch, the International Harvester Company, uh, used by the service manager. And then it went to a high, uh, high country sheep station owned by Sir Charles Upham, BC. And uh, the family are driving it there today, uh, and Anna is the driver. Murray Jamison here is a well-known uh, contractor around the districts. Yes, and, yes. Uh, he's there with, uh, with his son. Uh, the David Brown following is uh, another good club member of ours, uh, David Irvine, uh, the very popular uh, David Brown. A few of the military vehicles uh, joining in, which is great to, great to have them along here displaying their, uh, their equipment. Don Bankerith with his uh, with his little cup. 
Um, Alwyn Cryer and his uh, Fortson, uh, Fortson Major. Alwyn lives uh, pretty local and some farms, uh, farms locally and uh, he always uh, always comes along and supports us at our, uh, at our displays. Thanks Alwyn. William, just as I see these uh, jeeps coming past here, the, uh, the Army contingent, this year's Anzac Parade in Waiuku is going to feature some of these vehicles. We're having a, uh, an emphasis on Vietnam and uh, we will be having a parade of uh, vintage military vehicles. You don't see anything like this uh, Impala that's uh, coming past us at, at the moment. Very unique uh, type of vehicle, beautifully done up with uh, wheel spats and various other adornments. Beautiful piece of equipment. Very American, of course, as is this uh, armored car that's coming past. Not the one that you'd sort of see in the middle of the road every day. This is more of your stuff coming through again. John Deere R. And not a lot of these tractors came to New Zealand, but uh, they did a lot of work uh, breaking in the, the bigger farms, and this is now owned by uh, the Weimar family out of Glenbrook. That came from Riparoa. So it's great to have uh, you know, an R back in that strip. Bill and Hadley, that's his uh, final one. Barry Beattie with his uh, International uh, Hydro, it's a 706, I think, according to my notes. And Barry uh, hasn't uh, had this long, but uh, he's won for the, for the big factors. And it's uh, great to have him along uh, at the Lance Bulldog. Uh, I don't know whether any of you have been watching the starting up procedure with this one. It's pretty, uh, pretty time consuming by heating the bulb up first before it uh, uh, is hot enough to start. Here's another one of, uh, of Barry's, of his Barry, on his 706. Great to have the uh, NZR road services bus out from uh, storage in town. Um, great to have them along and a great supporter of uh, Cracker Vintage Days and Vintage Harvest Festivals out at uh, Glenbrook. And the Madrix coming past. <laughs> That's the home command. Hello, hello Marie. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Without the support of those sort of people, a lot of these things would never get done. Thank you, Violet. And of course, the other thing that is uh, uh, very noticeable is that it's done with a lot of fun and, um, and they get quite a lot of enjoyment out of it themselves, the group of people that are all part of that museum.
from a different weight. Same brakes, because of course they're a bit bigger brakes than what the stand is. So they're a bit 